All right, we've got a really exciting package in the mail. It was, oh, I want to say six or eight or nine or even as much as 10 months ago. We got some hearts from Mikseyev and they were fantastic. Got a few more. Um, he's forging in stainless now, so I'm excited to open this up. I believe there's three inside and then uh, one of those three is untuned, which is for me. I'm a collector of uh, harps, not to note. So we got the big camera out for today because if they're anything like the last Mokseyev, or Mokseyev, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, they gonna be beautiful. Let's see, is our mic working? Yes. It's always a shame to do an unboxing and the mic not be on. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh. That is square drawing paper, it looks like. I like that. Oh, yes! That I'm going to uh, show last. Let's, let's get these out. Packaged well. That we're going to keep off to the side. I think I know what that is. And his cases are different now. He said they're a little bit better protected. Well, these are... Oh, these are going to be good. It's His harps were already fantastic half a year ago. Let's move around. Hello. Come on now. Oh, those are shrink-wrapped very, very well. Come on now. That is a good looking necklace. Oh, look at that. Look at the level of polish. Oh, that is a good looking harp. Oh, look at that. Slightly recurved trigger, very refined reed shape. Got highly polished brass. Riveted with steel rivets, it looks like on the front. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's let's take a look at it up here. Oh, that just that just shines. Very very beautiful. And a little bit different of a necklace case now. It's recessed down in there. There's some felt or velvet. I, I'm not sure what that is. Let's get an ear on this. See how it plays. Get the coconut oil near here. Oh, God. I've got too much stuff up here. It look, it appears to be. Where you at, coconut oil? I don't know. Oil it afterward. Very good bell ring. Stiff reed. Those gaps are, are very tight. This is a very powerfully loud harp. These gaps are oh some of the tighter I've seen. Very melodic. Or I should say, very responsive to open close. Very, very beautiful harp. This is, I don't know which tuning that was. Where is my coconut oil? Where are you hiding? I don't know where my coconut oil is. We're going to have to order this right afterward. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, those are shrink wrap well. Oh, that, her, that first harp was, was very, very good. If we get all this plastic off here. Oh, for time's sake. Well, there we go. Yeah, very, very well protected. <sighs> little teeny scissors oh that is that's cool wooden grain pattern look at that it's 
barb about the same size. Well, that's a that's a high level of detail. Recurved trigger, flat ground on back, grindings are on front. Very, very beautiful. See how this one feels. This one has a little bit more weight up on the trigger, I'm noticing. I'm not gonna play that harp anymore. That's oh, that is nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got one more harp and one more other thing of interest. We have the last harp. They're all labeled in two. I don't know what that location. That's probably they're in the second octave. I'm not sure. I always wrap harps up with shrink wrap. I have the biodegradable sh shrink wrap before I ship them out. I never realized uh, how stubborn this shrink wrap can be, but I feel it's worth the protection. Tough stuff. There it is. And this is the last of them. Is it longer than the other? I think they're all about the exact same length. Oh man, this is, I'm excited for these. And they're stainless too. The other ones were steel frame. These are stainless steel frame. Oh, big. We got a lot of weight here on the trigger. We have a lot left on the trigger. I think this one's gonna be lower as well. <laughs> Ooh, that is a that is a sweet playing. It feels like a mid-range bass. I'm not sure the uh the note. That is a that is a good one. Now let's check out this last thing. I didn't know he was actually going to send it. He had discussed it. And he said he was going to send me a piece of a really beautiful piece of wood. He referred to it as nut. And that is that is a very beautiful grain pattern on that. I wonder if that's from a burl from the bottom of a tree. But that is absolutely beautiful. And then he said he was going to send something that he forged. I didn't know he was going to send it in this shipment. But I am... I am Patterned. This looks like a forged copper heart by him. And he did most of the work to it. Most of the grinding. Look at that. And he said he wanted to do a collaboration. He wanted to forge a harp and I put a reed in it, which uh, is a thrilling concept, but it's also very intimidating because playing uh, a moxie of harp, they are what I would consider a uh, a master's tool, a, uh, uh, a very skillful <laughs> made item, and I'm still in the beginning stages of my heart making. So yes, I will be, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it right away, but I will be putting a read in this. Thank you uh, to Dmitry Makseyev, uh, maker of Ukraine. I'm going to try to put a read in this. I hope I do not mess it up. It is kind of intimidating to uh, put a read and finish a harp uh, from a master that's much, much, much more skilled than I, as shown by this beautiful, amazing sounding work. And then I'm gonna make a case for it out of this, this awesome piece of wood. So thanks to uh, Makseyev for these harps. These are, oh, this has been a good unboxing. I'm very pleased with this. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more harpery. I love y'all. Keep your harps clean, keep them dry, keep them oiled. Adios. <laughs> Oh, yeah.
yeah, 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 yeah.